Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to what in the heck is going on here? Uh, Houston? Station core? What? I'm gonna just pretend like we never saw that. Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to continue working on our settlement. We're just, I'm just going to keep working on those quests until we get to a point where um, there aren't, aren't any more quests to do or, you know, we get to a, a reasonably good stopping point. <clears throat> um, the plan, and we're still planning on also uh, doing the, um, uh, what's that quest called? Dreams of the Deep. Planning on doing that and working our way towards the center of the galaxy. And at some point, we're going to probably, uh, it is my plan to, to start working on uh, maybe getting ourselves some interceptor ships too. Because we, uh, when we played last Saturday, well, actually two Saturdays ago now, um, we did that and, and it was really fun. And I want to also do that here in the single player game. But we, uh, I want to keep going on some of this other stuff too. So, first of all, all of our fleets have returned, so as usual, uh, I'll go ahead and move through all of that stuff. Um, some of you guys have mentioned to me in the comments that you do like to read the logs, so it, it, you know if the screen's going by too fast, uh, just pause the screen to read those logs. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get here.
Okay, so we got uh, a, a couple of nice things here. Uh, let's move these over to our exosuit. Anything that we just flat out trade, which is all this stuff we're going to sell. Anything that, of course, we use for crafting or other, other items, we will um, store and use later. Uh, which I think, what is this? Yeah, that's just used for trading, too. Okay, let's go over to our trade terminal. <clears throat> uh, that's a pretty bad price, but I'm just going to sell them anyways because it's not a whole lot of money. Sell those. This I'm going to hang on to because I know we're going to need it for uh, the interceptors. This has a little bit of a cut in price, but still pretty good. Yeah, same thing there. This has a positive price, and that's got a positive price. Fantastic. Okay, let me put all this other stuff away, and then we'll proceed with our next settlement mission. Oh, I did want to also announce to everybody that I have to go on one more uh, business trip for about a week. And so while I'm gone on that, I won't be able to make videos or do any live streaming. We normally live stream No Man's Sky on Saturday. Uh, I'll be back around May 8th or so. And then once I get back, I expect I don't expect to have any more really long, um, you know, week-long trips until October. So I'll be able to get back to somewhat of a normal schedule after that. I actually want this tritium. Uh, let's put that back in the in the freighter inventory. So yeah, this will be the last uh, video for this week, and then uh, when I get back, we will resume the series and keep on having fun here in No Man's Sky. Okay, so we'll put that away. This goes in here. The alien stuff. The high end resources go in here. That would be you, you, activated copper. I think actually we put in the other, let me put that in here because it's copper. Even though it's activated copper, it's still copper. And then the rest of this stuff will go in the crafting. Uh, yeah, so all of those can go in there. No room for that. No room for that stuff. Okay, so those can go in the overflow bin. I think I'll just hang on to for now. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a game save, and then we're gonna warp down to our settlement here and do the next uh, part of this quest. They want us to build a community center. Um, one of the main reasons I'm doing this, and I think I already mentioned this to you guys. I mean, I'm doing it just because it's fun to do, of course, <laughs> but uh, we also. Uh, we'll get ourselves a minotaur um, at some point uh, throughout this process. And I know we can just go spend the salvage data and, and get the blueprint, uh, you know, that way. But we might as well kill two birds with one stone and uh, enjoy this quest line as we also work towards the minotaur. All right, so let's see. What do we need to build the community center here? Construction terminal. Uh, 340 silicate power powder. Why don't we do this? Is our freighter in the system? Yeah, it's just right up there. We should be able to pull that from the freighter. Uh, so let's go to the freighter. And we want to go to basic resources. And let's just grab all of this silica. Let's speed this process up here a little bit. Okay, so we have to wait two minutes, as usual, for this to construct, and then when that's done, we'll see what's coming up next. In the meantime... Oh, I guess we're fighting Sentinels in the meantime. That's what's happening. Okay, let's kill these guys. They're not even, like, fighting back.
Reload. Run away, villager. We showed them what for. Got some more Atlantidium, Atlantidium, I think is how you pronounce that. Cool. Little combat. Get some blood pumping. How are we at doing on this? 1% complete. What? Oh. That math doesn't seem to work out in my head, but whatever. Oh, silly me, I'm reading this wrong. That was like a couple of hours, not a couple of minutes. <laughs> the other ones were all like just a couple of minutes. Um, okay, so I guess that means we're finished working the settlement quest for the time being. So why don't we see if we, why don't we start working on the sentinel or i'm sorry the interceptors and then you know we'll kind of bounce back and forth between doing that and coming back here and continuing to work on these uh settlement okay so what we want to do is head up on on up into space and we want to look for a planet that has corrupted sentinels So let's see if there is such a planet in our current system. Um, actually, we I guess we could look at that from here. Discoveries. That has aggressive sentinels, but not corrupted sentinels. Okay, so let's go into the universe map. And we're supposed to look for a certain kind of system. Uh, dis is it a dissonant system? I think it is, actually. Yeah, I think that's the system we want to go to. It's a red star system. So let's let's head over that way. I haven't watched anybody else do this or read up on it at all. Um, all I know about doing this is from what viewers have told me during live streams on uh, Saturday, when I do the Saturday live streams. And um, we do, we also we also did that. Um, we did some of it on the last live stream, but there was a couple of pieces to the puzzles, so to speak, missing. Um, for one thing, somebody had gone to the Nexus and given me a bunch of those echo locators. Data injection sequence received. Source unknown. A visitor has arrived at the settlement using this, use the space station teleporter to something or other. Okay, well here, let's do this. First of all, let's, is there a space station in this system? There often isn't in these special star systems and I'm not seeing anything show up on a compass. Okay, well, let's call our freighter here. What did that say? It said something about a visitor arrive, arriving at the settlement, but I didn't catch all of it. All right, let's just teleport back to the settlement really quick and see if something happens. Okay, visitor has arrived. How do I know who the visitor is? He's happy to see progress. Is, is it this guy? Nope. 
Liquidator Hyamba. Jealous of the neighbors. What's this guy doing? Is he a visitor? Planetary specialist. Waiting for their moment. Hmm. Okay. Where is... Where's my office? Is this my office? I don't remember. Yeah, this is my office. Let's check this. Okay, greet settlement visitor. A stranger named Scouter asks to do business with the Overseer. They are an envoy, though they will not reveal their patron. They present plans for AI-driven drinks machine as a gift to the settlement. Resolution required, except Scout Ter's technology. Does, so does this mean that he's gonna ask me for a favor in return like I'm gonna owe him later? I don't know. Decline or accept, let's just accept it. I'd like AI soda. That's it. Do settlement feature AI driven drinks machine. Okay. What's the status? 28 citizens. Happy productivity maintenance costs. Yeah, they're costing us money so far. They're incurring debt and it's going up. AI driven drinks machine improves citizen happiness. Okay. Well, there you go. We've done our good deed for our settlement for the day. Besides, you know, starting that construction. Let's go back to our freighter here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to what in the heck is going on here? Uh, Houston? Station core? What? I'm going to just pretend like we never saw that. Okay, let's do a scan of the system. That has aggressive signal, uh, sentinels, rather. That has aggressive sentinels. That has corrupted sentinels. Okay, so that's... This is where we want to go. To Orvanez Kike, I guess. Ka Kike? Is that how you say that? All right, here we are. Or just about, anyways. This is a moon. Tall spire type mountains. Or no, never mind, those are clouds. Okay, so can we harvest this stuff? Yeah. We're supposed to get a bunch of this stuff here. I don't think we can get the big stuff with this though, because we need an advanced mining laser. I believe what we'll need it to repair. Uh, we, we need it for something. I don't remember exactly what we need it for. Hello. Harvest this radiant shard. Uh oh, he's angry. Okay, we don't want to mess with them right now. Oh wow, that's trippy, man. It's like manufactured minerals. What type of moon is this? Z had to wonders. It's a metallic planet. Okay. Well, this doesn't have any hazards or environmental hazards. Okay. Well, let's get over more over this way.
did we not... Oh. I'm looking at my starship inventory. Okay, so we got two radiant shards and 300 and some odd of that stuff. Okay, let's make sure, because I had this problem uh, on the live stream. Let's make sure that we have a full thing of launch fuel in here. Uh, we do. Launch thruster. Okay. Well, and we do have the solar panels on this one, too. I don't have... I didn't have solar panels on my ship in the multiplayer game. So, let's just start looking for some more of the large shard thingamadoodles. And we'll also come across this other creature thingy that we're going to have to shoot. And I'll recognize it, you know, when I see it. We'll, we'll come across it a little bit. So let's just start working our way north, because why not? Ninroscalite. I always wanted myself some Ninroscalite. Oh, it shows another one of those shard thingies up here on my compass. Yeah, right there. There's two of them, in fact. Very nice. This one has a sentinel buried inside of it. I think that dissonance resonator is the thing we're, we're going after. There's another radiant shard there and one up there. Okay, let's mark the resonator thingy. Okay, I'm not sure if I have enough of this stuff or not. But let's go ahead and go down here now. Wait a minute, where is that? I don't see it. It's invisible. How is that supposed to work? Seriously? It's right here, but it's invisible. Um. I mean, I guess we could try and just shoot wherever. It's not actually here, though. I mean, I hear it, but... Come on, game. Alright, well... Let's call our ship over here, do a save point, log out and back in, and see if it appears. All right, guys, um, I logged back in, and there's another dissonance resonator over there, but the one that was supposed to be here was just right down here, and it no longer is, so I don't know uh, what the heck's going on with that. Uh, I want to check and make sure that we have launch fuel in here. Uh, yeah, see, it's only 26%, uh, so let's... Just fill that up so that way we can call the starship to us because we might. Excuse me, when I did this on the multiplayer, um, I had to trek quite a ways on foot and then I called my ship to me and I didn't have launch fuel in it, so yeah, that was fun. Alright, well, let's go over to this one and see if it still, it still sounds like it's here. 
but it's not. It doesn't even show up on my analyzer anymore. Yeah, that's just, that's broke. That's all there is to it, it's broke. Okay. So let's go this way. Okay, that one is there. We can actually see it. Nice, okay. Easy, big fella. All right, so basically what we have to do now is we have to shoot this dissonance resonator, and once we do that, then all of the corrupted sentinels and their little robotic buddies will fall, come after us, but we we can get away from them on foot until they de-aggro. Um, so let's go ahead and take this guy out. All right, and then time to leave. So they're all after us now, but they're not, they can't catch us unless we stop and let them catch us. Yeah, corrupt swarm abating. All right, now we got this inverted mirror and we need that to upgrade the interceptor once we get it as along with this stuff but um I, th I i think we're supposed to get something else though for this to actually work right so i'm guessing what we're gonna have to do is find some more of those dissonance resonator thingies and kill a few more and see if what we're after drops. I think it's, yeah, I don't even remember actually. Uh, I'm not going to bang my head against the wall for a really long time on this. If I can't figure it out fairly soon, um, we'll probably just move on and I'll, you know, I'll have to look it up later or something. But let's give it a try, you know, at least one or a couple more times anyways. But this was the same thing that was actually happening Um, on the multiplayer game. Okay. Oh, wait, what is that? So this is the thingy that you had to interact with. Uh, to activate the interceptor, as I recall. Why does that still show there's a resonator there when there isn't? That's where we just came from, I think. What happens if we... Salvage glass. Removing corruption to awaken internal circuits. So just take that out. Okay, bunch of numbers. Feed lost circuits 71 of the Atlanta Diem. The first. Okay. It still looks like it's pretty jacked up for something we just rebuilt. fairly certain that's where we just came from unless that's that bugged one let's just run back over there real quick okay so it's the destroyed resonator is there something we can loot on this huh -uh. all right well all right let's do this then let's go See if we can find another one off in the distance. All right, I'm not seeing anything, so let's move north. Yeah, when I was doing this on the multiplayer game, I didn't really get a clear 
uh, clear direction, I guess, on exactly how this goes. But like I said, we kind of, we had somebody had already given us the echolocator thingies. Um, so, you know, I didn't go through whatever it takes to even get those initially. I think what we have to do is do a sentinel es escalation and kill the freighter, uh, or at least that's one way that you can get them. But if I can't figure this out in this episode, then I'll I'll do a little bit of research and see what exactly you have to do from start to finish. Harmonic scrap. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think maybe that showed up after we killed that thing. Because I remember this now. I just forgot about it. Right, okay. So this, I think this just maybe pops up on the horizon once you, you kill the, the the resonator thing in Badoodle. I'm glad I noticed that. Okay, so it's another one of these. Okay, there's an autophage thingy. That other thing wasn't an autophage, it was something else. Let's see what this does. Remove corruption. Okay, a bunch of numbers, just like the other thing did. Speed loss circuits. Okay, we did the first and we did the sixth. With a binary number there. So, now what? Now what do we do? Destination reached. I'm looking to see if there's something new on the compass now. All right, well, let's keep moving. See, when when we did this on the live stream, we found, like, this little camp thing in Madoodle that we came to. And we did something there, and then it actually led us to an, a wrecked interceptor, which we were able to repair. I think I see... Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, let's kill another one of those and see what happens. See you, suckers. I'm seeing another... Dissonance resonator, but I'm not seeing another one of those yellow things up on the compass. There's one off this way. You know what, though? That might be the one we did earlier because it's looks like it's way back over by our starship. Is that a different critter? I think they're all the same. One has a red dot, one has a purple dot. Okay, here's another dissonance thing in Madoodle. Oh, look, we got an echolocator. Okay. I w oh, you know what? I'll bet you we got that when we did that autophage thing. Nice. Okay, cool. So. I didn't even notice that until now. Um, should we kill this other one first? Yeah, why don't we kill this other one, and then we'll we'll do the echolocator. Run right away! Got another inverted mirror. Okay, so the swarm is no longer following us. Get these radiant shards. Okay, let's pop the echolocator. 
Locator failed or no harmonies detected in current system. What? Um, what does that mean? I mean, we need to go to a different system. That would seem to suggest that. We didn't have to do that when we did the live stream. It was on the same planet. Hmm. Technology well, all right. I guess that means we need to go to a different system. Uh oh, a citizen dispute has arisen. Use the space station teleport to quickly return to your settlement. Those citizens. All right, let's go see what's going on with our citizen dispute, and then we need to wrap up this episode. Are you the disputing citizens? Okay, let's take a look and see what this is all about. Alright, Drill Warrior Hezohek is in a dispute with colonist Ipagaya over an antimatter generator. He alleged the item has been fraudulently sold. Fraudulently sold. However, the seller insists their goods conform to all existing regulations. Does Drill Warrior Hezohek's claim have merit? So, but how, how has it been fraudulently sold? This doesn't give me enough information to make a good decision. Is he saying that this dude sold him a generator that's not working right? Because screw the regulations. If it ain't working right, then it's not working right. But I don't know if that's exactly what that means. If that's what that means, I would rule in favor of the Drill Warrior. And since I have no other information to go on, that's what we're going to go with. Hostile Spy Suspected. So, I take that to mean we made the wrong choice. <laughs> Can you only have like six features active at a time? I don't know. Okay, well, there you have it. Now they're going to sit down and have a beer and work out their differences. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And uh, don't forget, like I said, I'm going to be gone all next week. I should be back around May 8th or so. And then we will uh, resume our, our series here in No Man's Sky. Uh, feel free to tell me information in the comments about, you know, if I did something wrong or if I missed a step or whatever as far as the Sentinels go. I'm going to do a little bit of research on it too. So don't worry too much about spoilers. You know, at this point, I just kind of want to know how it works. And then we will go for there. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll see you all in about a week. Bye-bye.